Welcome to the Crop Insurance Podcast, the podcast where we dive deep into the world of crop insurance. I'm your host, Mike Rydell, a third generation crop insurance agent, and I'm thrilled to have you join me on this educational journey. At our family owned and operated business, we've been providing crop insurance expertise for generations. Our goal here is simple, to educate our listeners. Crop insurance can be complex and overwhelming, but I believe that understanding it is crucial for every farmer. So whether you're a seasoned farmer looking to stay updated or a newcomer seeking guidance, this podcast is for you. Welcome to today's podcast, brought to you by Crop West Insurance Incorporated, your agent-friendly crop insurance group. Attention crop insurance agents, ready to revolutionize your business? Crop West Insurance is here to help. Their experienced team based in Spokane, Washington, offers tailored marketing plans, expert consultations, and exclusive training sessions to help you succeed. With access to industry-leading resources and a network of like-minded professionals, joining CropWest Insurance means unlocking the potential for increased revenue and unparalleled expertise. Do not miss out on this opportunity to thrive in the crop insurance marketplace. For more information, please head on over to their website at cropwestinsurance.com. Crop West Insurance Incorporated is an equal opportunity provider and employer. All righty, folks, welcome back to another episode of the Crop Insurance Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Rydell. Today, we're going to be diving into something that sounds a little intimidating at first, but it's actually really fascinating once you get to break it down. And that is the implied volatility factor, or as the cool kids in insurance call it, the IV factor. It might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but trust me, it's something every farmer should understand because it has a direct impact on how your crop insurance premiums are calculated. So what's the deal with the volatility factor? Well, let's break it down. Each year, the Risk Management Agency, or RMA, sets two very important numbers for your crop insurance policy. That's the projected price and the implied volatility factor. On the projected price, that one's fairly easy. You can go back to our first season of podcast episodes where we specifically discuss the projected price. That's going to vary depending on what county you're in, what crop you're looking at growing, and the growing season as they all use different time frames. But the idea is generally the same. With revenue protection, they set a projected price at the beginning of the growing season and a harvest price at the end of the growing season. It's basically an average of what the market thinks your crop's going to be worth. But here's where it gets a little more interesting. Just predicting the price isn't enough. You've got to account for the risk surrounding that prediction. Enter the implied volatility factor. This little number shows how confident the market is in that price prediction. Or to put it in another way, it shows how likely it is that that price could move up or down. If the market's thinking, hey, prices might bounce around a lot, you'll see a higher implied volatility factor. If they're like, no, prices are going to stay pretty level, you're going to see a lower volatility factor. It's basically a measure of how unpredictable things can get. Now, here's where RMA grabs that magic number. They get it from options prices. Basically, how much are traders willing to pay to lock in a future price? The RMA takes that data from services like barchart.com and it looks at the last five days of trading during the pricing period. So at the end of the price discovery period for the projected price, that's when they're looking at establishing that price volatility factor, or also known as the implied volatility factor. They average those numbers out, and voila, you get your final implied volatility factor for that crop year. So what does that mean for you? Well, the higher the implied volatility factor, the more uncertainty there is in the market. And that means higher premiums for your crop insurance. The lower the implied volatility factor, the market's more confident about stability and your premium rates will reflect that too. It's kind of like insurance for your insurance. You're paying for the chance that prices might get wild. 
Just like that, you're now in the know about RMA's volatility factor. It's a crucial part of how your premiums get calculated and ultimately how your revenue protection works. Why this is so relevant today is that from 24 to 25, we're seeing projected prices go down from last year to next year. And in doing so, your guarantees are going down. However, we're seeing that premium rate come up and producers are sometimes paying the same amount of premium they were last year, if not a little bit more, and that's due to that implied volatility factor. So understanding it is crucial to understanding why your premium rate is going up when your coverage goes down. Well, that's it for today's deep dive into the world of implied volatility or the volatility factor. I hope we were able to simplify it for you a bit. Be sure to tune in next time as we tackle even more crop insurance mysteries. And don't forget, if you're enjoying the podcast, give us a rating, drop a comment, and share it with your fellow farmers. Let's spread the knowledge far and wide. Make sure you head over to our website at cropinsurancepodcast.com where you can get a whole host of learning information and tools right there at your fingertips. Until next time, thank you very much. From my family to yours, thank you very much for listening. I sincerely hope that this presentation has been instrumental in enhancing your understanding of federal crop insurance. If you find value in our podcast, we kindly encourage you to subscribe and spread the word among your friends and neighbors. To access further information, please visit our website at thecropinsurancepodcast.com where you'll find the latest podcast episodes, articles, and exciting new features conveniently located in one place. This information is not all-inclusive and is meant to be used only as general guidelines for educational purposes. For additional information, please see Crop Provisions, reference the Crop Insurance Handbook or Loss Adjustment Manual, or contact your crop insurance agent. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer.